can give transparency when something bad has happened, you will build resilience. We're joined by our parenting yeah. expert, Dr. G. Dr. G. Dr. G. Hi, Dr. G. Hi. Please welcome Dr. Deborah Gilboa to the show. Thank you. Parents are under a lot of pressure to make our kids our friends, to be, make them happy all the time, but that's not actually the metric of good parenting. I don't consider my kids' happiness my responsibility. I want to teach kids the skills they need to be happy later. This is Today. Today.com contributor Dr. Deborah Gilboa is here. Let's talk for a second about kids and presents. Sometimes you're not going to get every single thing you want. When you get a gift, there's only one right answer. Thank you. When do you decide what's age appropriate for kids? I actually think that matching the kids' personality to what they get to do is way more fun than being good at it. I want you to sign your kids up for something if you'd want them to do it, even if they were only average. Yeah. Lindsay, what's your question for the doc? I have a son who will only drink juice. One of the things that you can do is you can put cut up fruit into an infuser. Very and cute. And if he's doing this himself, he, he has ownership, ownership and that mm -hmm. autonomy of doing it himself. Kids sure. like to have fun. If you make stuff that's good for you fun, yeah. they'll do the fun thing. You say it is never too early to get our kids doing jobs around the house. Making beds, you've told me, is really important to you. Yes. I want you to be able to delegate her making her bed, at least. Until then, do it with her. She can help fluff pillows, put them back on the bed, spending the time with her, knowing... I love the look on your face, No, I mean, you're like... so Mary Poppins. Yes. A spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down. Make it a game, and she'll do yeah. it. So true. By George, it just might work. Chores are the canary in the coal mine of kids' character. You're a big believer in the chores for kids. Should so we pay kids. the kids? I don't pay my kids to do chores for two reasons. One, we do them because we're each a part of the family. Mm -hmm. And two, then they could quit. I heard that some of you saw my TED talk yesterday. Taking out the garbage builds character. My kids complain bitterly to me about their chores, but they brag about it to their friends. And they totally shame their friends for not doing stuff. I, as a resilience expert, Love the balloon. What's wrong with the balloon? It pops or flies away. Best case scenario, the thing deflates. 72 small disappointments build resilience. To learn the lesson that you will ever find joy again. Good morning, Dr. G. I am wondering how I can motivate my 15-year-old son to complete his homework. Any autonomy you can afford to give him, as long as he meets it being done by when it's due, autonomy is their holy grail. But it still has to be done, so I would try and get him a mentor to be like, this matters, buddy. Stress is to resilience as exercise is to body muscle. There's a lot of bad news out there. Bad things actually happen. Our kids, if something is going to shake their foundation, we need to shore up the foundation they have that they can trust us. Learning and growth doesn't happen when you're laying in your comfy hammock with snacks and a friend. Learning happens when you get uncomfortable. They need lots of difficulty so that when the bigger difficulties come along, they know about resilience. And if you protect them from so much and you keep them in their happiness bubble, they will be shocked and betrayed by life. I really want to empower as many parents as I can and make them think a little differently about the difference they can make in their kids' lives with intentional parenting. Then their kids stand a much better chance of living a resilient, healthy life. You're awesome. Well, she's got four kids. That's why she knows all this stuff. <laughs>